okay students so in today's lecture we are going to cover electric fields so for electric fields we need to look at the structure of the atom so atom okay inside the atom there is a nucleus okay and nucleus contains some protons neutrons okay and electrons are revolving around the nucleus on the orbit of the atom okay so you can see here there are electrons there are electrons which are on the orbit i can just mark in here and in, in inside the nucleus there are some neutrons and protons okay now if we see here protons they have positive charge neutrons they are neutral and electrons they have negative charge okay so you need to remember this thing okay so so it's clear to you there is an atom electrons revolve around the nucleus and inside the nucleus there are some neutrons and there are some protons protons are having the positive charge neutrons the neutral and electrons having the negative charge now what are the magnitudes of protons and electrons protons and electrons so protons has 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb electron also has the same magnitude 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb but with a negative sign so basically the protons and electrons have the same magnitude but opposite sign okay same magnitude but opposite sign Now next thing is if we have two charges q1 and q2 there are two charges q1 has q1 is positive and q2 is negative right so what will happen to the force so always remember if the charges are opposite opposite charges attract each other okay opposite charges will attract each other so the force on q1 will be like this and force on q2 will be like this as i mentioned in blue here okay so the force will be equal in magnitude but opposite in direction okay please remember if the two charges are opposite then the force will be equal in magnitude but opposite in direction because the opposite charges attract each other now case 2 this is my case 2 both the charges are like this is positive and q2 is positive what will happen if both are like charges so i mentioned here like charges repel that means forces will pull apart the forces will be equal in magnitude but opposite in direction so if there are like charges that means the force will repel each other okay see the force are repelling each other they are not attracting now the most important is coulomb's law what does the coulomb law states though i i can write So Coulomb law states that force is, look here, the force is directly proportional to Q1, Q2 and inversely proportional to R square. Okay, that means it states if we, if we just remove this sign, is it is Q1, Q2 by R square. If we remove this proportionally sign, it will be F equals to K. So K will be proportionality constant okay so it states that let me remove this it states that force equals to k q1 q2 by r square where r is the distance between the two charges okay q1 and q2 are the point charges k equals to proportionality constant 
its value is 9 into 10 to the power 9 newton per meter square coulomb square and it is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught epsilon naught equals to 8.85 into 10 to the power minus 12 coulomb square per newton meter square and it is known as permittivity of free space so you need to remember all these terms the values will be given in the exam now suppose an objective is positive what does that mean it means that in that object protons are higher than electrons right p is greater than electrons protons are more than electrons suppose an objective is negative that means in that object electrons concentration is higher than protons electrons are more than protons now if according to the coulomb's law according to the coulomb's law we know that f equals to k q1 q2 by r square that means force is directly proportional to q what does that mean if q is higher then force will be higher okay always remember according to coulomb's law if q is greater then force will be greater if q is lesser then force will be lesser now let us consider example number one suppose there are two charges q1 and q2 both are positive okay there are two charges q1 and q2 both are positive and the force between them is 100 newton okay now suppose if we double the magnitude of q2 what will happen to the force definitely if the force will be double because force equals to k q1 q2 by r square so if we double it that means what will happen what we will write k q1 2 q2 by r square that means I can write F equals to 2 K Q1 Q2 by R square. That means this is force and this is 100 Newtons. So what will be total force? 2 into 100 equals to 200 Newtons. Understood? So if we double the magnitude 2 Q2, that means the force will be doubled. okay let us mention like this okay now the third case what happens if we double the distance to r that means initially it was r and now it is 2r what will happen if we double the distance so again we know f equals to k q1 q2 by r square we'll just place the value 2r here that means it will be 4r square and we can write 1 by 4 k q1 q2 by r square and 1 by 4 into f equals to 25 newtons right that means what happens basically if the force is 100 newtons that it will be 25 newtons that means electric force is the strongest when charges are placed together or closely to each other there are some of the units you need to remember force equals to newtons q equals to coulomb r equals to meters one micro coulomb equals to one into ten to the power minus six coulombs one milli coulomb equals to one into ten to the power minus three coulombs one nano coulombs equals to one into ten to the power minus nine coulomb centimeter one into ten to the power minus two coulomb and one into ten to the power minus three meter which is equal to one millimeter these are some of the units you need to remember. So in this lecture, we discussed about the Coulomb's law and basically electric fields.